This is your time of the night, isn't it, Les? Well, ten till midnight normally. The, other, the extra hour, if you didn't give me a nudge now and again, we'll see what we can do. OK, we'll get some Hornets on for you. <laughs> You're looking at him. Yeah, you see my birth certificate, haven't you? <laughs> anyway, here we are, raising money. We want as much as we can get. We've topped the 100,000, I understand, Mike. Right? Exactly, yes, we have. Which is excellent. 100,000. I haven't got the very, very latest figure, but I've got a, a number here which looks impressive, so we're really thanks anyway. 100,996. 0.57. I'm not sure how up to date that is, but it sounds mighty impressive to me. We're going to be here, for, as I say, for another two hours, and we need every single penny that you can send us by 40000, and we'll do our best to entertain you between now and one o'clock. That's right. And indeed, all sorts of people have been doing exciting things, and standing next to me, looking, well, my goodness me. It's smart, isn't it? Yes. Well, <laughs> if that's the word you want, yeah, there's, yeah. there's a penguin in the studio. <laughs> Look, I just thought I would come in and show you all up, you see. Well, th this is Jeff Draper, I mean, you recognise the voice. Fellow graveyard shifter. Absolutely, yes, it is. Uh, after me, I thought, that it's on Sunday. Mm, that's okay. right. That's and what right. have you been doing? Right, well, I'm dressed up like this because I couldn't be put in the shade. Yeah, does does the suit go back tomorrow, Jeff? Well, no, I have to confess the ownership of this, you know, so hence I'm standing. I don't sit in this well, one. <laughs> never mind. Tell us what you've been doing. It's been a fashion show over at Arding Night. They've been planning this thing for months, and... Uh, some bright spark had the idea to give the donation or the proceeds to children in need. So um, I was lucky enough to be chosen by the station to go over there and do the comparing for them. And by goodness, when I say lucky, I mean, honestly, mm -hmm. you know, we, Les and I and Mike, we've done things for the, this radio station that sometimes we'd rather not. Well, yes, that's true. Tonight, I'm not admitting to anything. Let me tell you, I had a ball. Can, can you imagine? Um, it was all the upper six girls and boys who mm -hmm. did this. They got every shop you can think of. Name a shop in Brighton. Uh, avant-garde and, and, and not so avant-garde are all sort of giving the clothes and what have you. Uh, 20, 30 girls, 10, 20 boys, they really did marvellously. We held an auction, a friend of mine, a jeweller in Brighton, gave us one of those Diamante Pudsy Bears for about £2,000. So <coughs> Sue Cook sort of auctioned one last year. This was um, a fake one. Mm -hmm. It retails about 50 we got 105 for that. Altogether, we've raised about £1,500. And they prized me away from the bar to come down back into Brighton just to do this. And, uh, and let me tell you, the bar's still going, so it could be a lot more. But I think for six formers, on their own volition, to hold and plan a fashion show, mm -hmm. the choreography you wouldn't believe. The way they dressed Woodard House, which is the upper six, uh, was just incredible. I was privileged to be there. I had a marvellous time. And thanks indeed, if anyone from Arling Lines is listening, thanks for making me feel welcome. Fifteen hundred pounds for children in need. And that really, though, is nothing compared to one lady you're going to talk to later who actually jumped out of an aircraft. Yeah, I know, that's <laughs> that's <laughs> so until we get roped into that, I think I'd better go. I, I just have the fancy, Mike, that he probably won the fashion parade, don't you think? <laughs> so we have the sandwich ladies calling here at Radio Sussex every day, sending us all sorts of very... I always go for what is cheap, because I always feel that's less fat, and I'm not going to put on so much weight. I was going to say, what a lovely trim figure. Well, I know, I, I haven't. Lived. I really need, I really need to slim a little bit. You I know. mean, the fact that you're wearing your sweatshirt baggy, you know. Well, they have to be baggy, because I pull it down. Uh, absolutely. So doesn't look so bad, does it? Hides the tummy a little bit. Right. 54000 is the number. That's a Brighton number. 54000 for your pledges, please. And I think we're just going to catch up on the national picture. <laughs> Children in Need News. Do they read us? They surely do. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry about that. I couldn't resist it. Chris Wilson's out and about in the radio car this evening doing a splendid job. He's at the Bedford Hotel and I do believe he's... I'm going to do another impression here. So I'll wear a tulum because he's got Frank Castleman in. Hello, Chris. Can you hear us? M Mr. Wilson. Take it away, sir, if you can hear us. <laughs> Hello, Chris. We can hear you very loud and clear. You carry on. <laughs> <laughs> 